What's good, Jaws? <coughs> Ladies and gents, subscribers and viewers, YouTubers. Smooth back in the building. So, uh, exciting news for those who give a damn. Got a lot more content coming to the channel. First one is, uh, we got a little Alibaba frame coming in. We're about to populate that joint with all kinds of components, like a um, 72 volt controller, some good old 15, uh, some 1200 watt hubs, BDLC motors, and uh, yeah, we'll let you guys see as we buy some stuff, but today it's a maintenance day, or maintenance night, I should say, and to give you guys an update what's going on oh also we're going to be doing a, a one year's owner date on the vrx iq plus so if you have a pool and you need an automated cleaner this is the truth i've had it for like a year now and it still keeps the pool very clean anyhow oh yeah we're working on that d6 we finally got that uh Nasty stripped bolt out of there. Where's that one that was giving me problems at? Oh yeah, check it out. Look at that. She was rounded out some fierce in there. So what we did was we uh we went and got the drill. Not this bit, but I got another bit that's inside here. Drilled that, made it uh, as round as possible. Then I got the hex. That's not the hex joints. Oh, there goes the hex joints. Hammered a hex in there and got extension. Put some grease in there, uh, and then banged it out. So, yep, we got that off there. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and uh, mount the tire on there. Get that on there. The only reason why I'm not doing it tonight is because my frame, uh, my cousin's frame sliders at his house. So I just want to get it all done. So when he brings his flame sliders, we'll knock this out. We can have his brand new tires on there. Uh, he'll be ready to go. Fresh new tires, fresh new meat. Um, we'll be get the, we're waiting to get the tires done on the D6. We're gonna do some maintenance on the D4 Plus. And for that, basically, Make sure she's got some air pressure. Make sure the tires are. I like to keep them at 45, between 45 and 50, because we do a lot of bouncing. Um, actually, this third locker is going to be for the D6 when we put the uh, bolts back on. But yeah, so we're going to spin the tires or the hubs, and then make sure that we don't hear no brake sounds when we apply the brakes. If so, then we use the park tool to straighten up the rotors. Um, we're gonna add some, oh well, yeah, I can see right here. Added some grease to the inside. Tighten those bolts up. Get some white lithium grease, spray it on the uh, suspension components and wipe that off. Make sure it's all good. So we're gonna hear no creaking when we're bouncing. Might as well get some lithium grease as well. And uh, grease it, make sure my bearings are protected because it is uh, cold out right there. You won't see the moisture, but trust me, moisture gets in there. You pop open that hub and you'll see fucking rust. Promise you. If you don't keep that clean. Um, also, we're gonna tighten up all the bolts. Just go through, make sure all the bolts are tightened. Um, yeah, I guess I make sure the tires are good. You see that? That's that good tequila sunrise right there. Yes, sir. Other than that, I think the D4 should be good. And the 
the Wolf. Uh, shout out to the guys in the Kabu Wolf Facebook page. They've been very helpful. Um, this guy said that his uh, the bolt, or not the bolt, but the wire from his remoter was chafed and it had some cut. And only after three weeks of riding, that this wire that goes from the motor to the deck was uh, had some cut. So I looked at mine. You can't see it now, but it definitely had some wear. I was like, God damn. And I guess it's from when you're bouncing this part right here. Let me see if I get a better view. Right there. When you're bouncing, you're jumping. This part right here, the part of the wire is hitting this uh, part of the swing arm. It's hitting the swing arm when you're jumping. It's hitting the controller wire, not the controller wire, but the hub wire, and causing it to have damage. But guys, this split open. So I was like, well, damn. So I wrapped mine. Give good four wraps, and this is some heat heat wrap that you use for cold air intakes. So it can withstand some heat, and it's gonna be on there pretty good. That shouldn't go nowhere. So yeah, swing arm can bounce, but it ain't gonna do shit to my wire. Uh, at least I hope so. Yeah. So the wolf is just chilling. Um, I've definitely been doing some rides. I'm sure y'all seen the videos. So yeah, no issues with the wolf so far. Just keeping it cool. But yeah, we're just gonna maintenance the other scooters. We're gonna get the uh, D6 wheel back going. So we get that back to my cousin's house. He's gonna enjoy his scooter. And uh, oh yeah, also, I'm about to be setting up a grow room. So along with the uh, scooter that we're building from Alibaba, that frame that I got coming, I'm also gonna be uh, setting up the grow room. So for y'all who do care, who, who those who are into the uh, medicinals, you're gonna see me set up a grow tent. Um, start from seed. I might get a clone, but um, a clone or two. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have some seeds. I'm gonna put them seeds in there and start from seed all the way to finish. To some fire. To some straight fire. But yeah. So that's what's going on. And. Um, I keep you guys posted to let you see what's going on. And from then, yeah, we'll have some good times. All right, y'all checking out. I'm about to enjoy this uh, tequila sunrise. I'll start on this D4 Plus. Put some bowls in there. And I'll show after that. Maybe play some 2K afterwards. Yeah. All right.